our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Blast Holloway. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Elia El Matador Corporea. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, he turned pro when he was just a baby, but almost instantaneously realized UFC success. At one point, 10 consecutive wins in the UFC, realized the UFC world title. This man has knockout power plus submission skills as well, but perhaps his biggest asset, his self-belief and his toughness, those should be big for him in this particular matchup tonight. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. Holloway's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, back and forth we go. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Topuria. Good stick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Three minutes in our opening round. Push kick there to the body. Max Holloway at his best in the stand-up here tonight. Could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blessed Holloway? Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, hook to the head by Holloway. Well, missed on that one. Topuria's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, high kick. Nice job by him defensively there. Big knee lands to the body. Topuri has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Oh, that killing is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Topuria. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good, and that is in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. 
Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ilya Topuria. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take this. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? Just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy, and now he's throwing them more. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding of what his opponent is doing in return every time he throws the shot. This guy's good, man, and we have seen him on multiple occasions have these star-making performances, which is why everybody loves Max Holloway. Under three minutes now to go round two. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered today. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Holloway. Massive shot from the top. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. You guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Topuria. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. Topuria's back in full mount. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent, and he keeps going to that spot. Topuri has got his back again. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, that is the end of the round. Holloway's corner showing a little bit of concern here, DC. The cut around his eye really starting to swell. Cut man's got to do his best work right here, right now. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent Ready, opened up a nasty Ready. cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he takes. Holloway's cut, not getting blood in his eyes, so that's a good thing. But, man, that is a nasty cut on the cheek. Certainly going to require stitches after the fact. And uh, hopefully the cut man can stop the blood if we get to a next round. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. That strike blocked by Ilya Topuria. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Daniel. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy's taking a beating, and the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. Topuria is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. 
Make him fight you. Just misses with the right. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out. Oh! Oh, this could do it. And that one certainly found the target. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night. Back and forth on both sides. And referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed up. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There have been some bleak moments for both. Both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this last minute. Pretty good head movement defensively by Holloway. He heard him again. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Holloway. And that is how you end a fight. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Elia Elmadador All right, so no surprise as Bruce Buffer gets you the scorecards. A clean, clear decision for the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. We build this, obviously, as striker versus grappler. Grappler got it.